Hey guys, welcome to the Kane Audio vlog. It's Friday, it's time for another Ask Me Anything. Usual rules apply. Comment any question you want below this video and I'll get back to you in next week's video answering the questions. Uh, before I get started, house admin, nothing other than Merry Christmas. I hope you all had a good one. Uh, I will be back again next week, which will be near next year so happy new year to everyone as well um obviously with it being christmas uh, not so many people have asked any questions or anything in this one so uh, it'll probably be a pretty quick one today um other than that i don't think there is anything to mention mousetrap we are friends comes out next week i think next friday Can't think of anything else. Um, so on with the show. Nathan Zaskarinskis. Uh, hope you had a good Christmas, Dom. I did. Thank you very much. I uh, was asking about the ADAC connections as I have two sound cards, one in my Euro rack and one on my desk connected to my monitors. Uh, but to use one or the other, I need to change the settings in Ableton. Yeah. Uh, so I think I mentioned last week I wanted to sort of road test a couple of sound cards side by side and in my head I thought well that's got to be easy in a workstation uh, it's not and I, I, I'm not entirely sure why I'm sure there are very good reasons why but whatever reason that is I don't know but essentially yeah workstations won't really play with more than one sound card at a time so generally speaking I just wouldn't bother also I mean in theory there shouldn't be any need for two sound cards unless you just happen to have two um, so if you're going from euro rack uh, then i would probably suggest if if your main interface has adat expansion uh, then go with that <clears throat> because that'd be just far easier through the optical inputs uh, if it has it if it doesn't I would probably recommend finding one that does, to be honest. Um, for instance, I make a baseline in Serum and want to process that through warps, a multi-distortion unit. Uh, I have to go into Ableton settings and change my sound card to the one in my Euro rack. So having ADAC connections work, like you said, it would be fantastic for me. I've just been hesitant to do anything with them as I wasn't sure uh, if I'd have been throwing money away. Yeah, so what I have is I'm not in that... Uh, Oh, you can't see it anyway, but down in one of the racks, uh, I've got an ADAT, which acts as an expansion for the Audion interface. Um, and I think that gives me an extra eight channels or so, which will give me, you know, DIs or opticals or whatever, um, XLRs. So, yeah, so that, that just makes life a lot easier. I've also got, again, you can just about see it, I think, in the back. Um, a straight quarter inch jack patch bay so that I can plug from one to the other. Um, yeah, so it's pretty easy. Unknown artist, uh, hi Don, Merry Christmas to you. Another great video. A question I haven't heard answered or even asked is Are you planning on doing any gigs anywhere at any time? I think most people here, including myself, would attend and show support. That would be awesome. Um, I am not planning any right now but I would like to at some point soon ish um, I've kind of got ideas in my head of, of how I'd like things to go whether it works like that or not is another thing I mean I think I, if I'm totally honest with everyone here I think I'm a bit of an awkward booking um, because I think I'm past the point of doing the small gigs and playing for a couple of free beers, especially as I don't really drink. Um, but I'm not at the point where booking me is going to guarantee you to fill some arena or whatever. I'm, I'm kind of at that annoying in-between point. So I think... If I'm totally honest, I'm probably not the most appealing performer 
to promoters certainly from a financial aspect anyway uh, and let's be honest most promoters these days work pretty much purely on finances and bums on seats as they say um, however I do have some plans a bit further down the line that hopefully mean that when I get to a position where maybe I can do an album I'd like to be able to tour that somewhat even if it's only a you know a small tour I'd like to be able to tour it and, and perform it live um, so we'll see how that goes uh, was hammering out my car speakers playing running out just the other day and would, lo would love to hear more of your stuff through a decent club system you and me both um, yeah I, I, I it's always great hearing your own tracks in a in a club um, and like I said and that's part of what I'd like to do live is is sort of a to kind of push that element of it really I suppose um, again I wish everyone here happy holidays and see you in the new year and out Sidder, uh, hi Don, Merry Christmas, hope you have a good one. No question this time, so just here to say enjoy the holidays to you and everyone here, and thanks for another great answer AMA. Rod Marconi, thanks Dom, have a Merry Christmas and special New Year. BWO official, great video Dom, and Merry Christmas to you. Thumbs up. Uh, Debash Singo, nice AMA Dom, you too have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Have a great weekend, buddy. And that's it, that's everyone. So, yeah, hopefully you're all getting fat and sick from all the uh, treats and I will see you next week which happens to be next year. Have a good one. Cheers.